Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're going to be watching another cop inter, uh somebody getting pulled over by the cops. Um, once again, this video is about human interactions and how things get dealt with. I just want to show you that. And I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I drank some water. I keep freaking wanting to burn. All right, let's get into this. Top out for me. Why? Exit the car because no, I said I so. Have right. I don't need yeah. And I have the right to ask you to order you order you out of the vehicle, so because no. we're gonna have an ambulance come and check you out anyway. Why? Because someone said you were passed out of the I vehicle. I was not sleeping in my so, car. So, ma'am, you're gonna step out of the car. We're gonna rip you out of this car. Okay, so well, let's start right. <laughs> Listen, and I don't get on the. I like. Hold on, guys. My screen is cut off. Let me uh, fix that for you guys. There you go. That way, y'all can see the name of the video. Um, y'all go check these people out. I don't like how they put drunk porn star. And this is, to me, this is just a, uh, that's kind of a caption grab. Because at when I watched this video, at no point did they really push the fact that she did that kind of work. But you know how it is. Do you understand me? So he said he's going to rip her out of the car. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. He said he's going to rip her out of the car. I don't think that was the right way to go about it. Um, because she's just not wanting to get out, but I get it. Sometimes these cops have been dealing with people all night, and sometimes they're like, "Man, I just come on, bro, just get out of the car, make it easy." Uh, but I feel like this guy's kind of on the edge. Maybe he's having a bad day. Um, not gonna get on this individual because uh, I don't know them. But it sounds like this cop is having a bad day, and so he's just kind of like not having it. Rip me out. Okay. Yeah. No, he's about a purpose. Why not? Because I have my rights and I have nothing. What did you just tuck in your pants? What? What did you just tuck in nothing. your pants? Nothing. Nothing. Get her out of the car. She's got something in her pants. Now, this is where she makes a mistake. Okay, she's going to explain this later and we'll talk about it. But you don't want to go put stuff in your pants and stop messing around in your pants with all this stuff. That is a good, good fire way to get the cops on edge. And you're going to see it only escalates from here because of that. Get out of your pants. pants away. Get out of the car. car right now. And what do you have in your pants? Car. Stop messing no, with it. No, you're not going to rip me out of my own car. I have my daughter in the vehicle. Yeah, I see that. Okay, so why don't you listen? No. And what do you have in your pants? I can see you messing with my, me. Don't yeah, that's my not tampon? what you're messing with. Get out. Get out of you the car. You have to get out of the car. No. At this point, ma'am, just get out of the car. You have to get out of the car. You're going to jail, and your daughter's going to go. Oh my bets. God, no! Please. Well, you don't. Make my fiance's at home, and I want to go home. Okay, you hop out of the car. Hop out, or I'm gonna take you to jail for oh my dropping God, my like daughter. Can I call my fiance? No, you're talking to me, not your fiance. Ma'am, you're gonna get out of the car. Us. I'm gonna stun you. No, my God, no! You see how it escalated? You see how it escalated? Hey, wait from get out of the man, can you step out of the car to get out of the car? Now I'm gonna rip you out. So if you don't get out the car, I'm gonna stun you. Why would she grab her phone? After they just told her no. Right? Listen, I understand people want to stand. Some people want to have their pride. Some people want to really stand on that. But at some point, you just got to be like, okay, look. <laughs> this cop is clearly on edge. Okay? This cop is clearly wants me out this vehicle. Now, they say that she's been drinking. Clearly, that's what you can see in the title. <clears throat> so, she may be a little bit, you know, not really there because she's been drinking a little bit. So, her mind's off. I'm just saying, people. You got to be careful. Because some of these cops, they be on top of the edge. Just get out of the vehicle. I'm not saying, is he right necessarily to say, I'm going to rip you out or stun you? I don't know. Maybe a little bit far. But, hey, listen, like I said, man, cops deal with a lot. I don't know what went on before this interaction. Maybe yesterday he had somebody slap him in the face, punch him, or it got real crazy and reckless. We don't know. All right? So it's better just to comply. Because, remember, you're just one. To these cops, you're just one person. It's not like you're the only person they're going to pull over for the rest of their tenure. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like you're the first person they pulled over. Most times they pulled over many more people before you. They've been through a lot of situations and they just don't want to deal with this because they know where it can go. So it's just like, just do what we say so we can get on with our lives. Oh! Police already had suspicions that she was hiding something in her pants. A female officer found marijuana inside her shorts. Stop. Right now. So that's where you get all that. So we're going to move forward a little bit here. Who had her little boy there? Let the kids play. Had a few. I told them I had three monocos. I bought two green and one blue. Ate some tacos. Yes, I smoked some pot. 
and I decided to stop on my way home and get my news. And I am being 100% honest. Like, I have a... You know, it looks bad, right? I don't know what call you got. But yes, I closed my eyes in the drive-thru, and then these ladies were pounding on my window. Like, I want... That's where they got her, man. Listen, I can understand smoking a little weed. Look, we've all smoked, probably smoked a little better, you know, a little better. But the fact that you passed out at a Wendy's is making the cops think that you had more than just a little bit of pot. You pass out, you're being irritable, you're being difficult. And when you start doing that, these cops are going to get you because they're going to suspect that you had something to drink. Not only did you have something to drink, you had a child in the car. This stuff starts to pile up. But the way this story ends, guys, is the most wildest ending I've ever seen um, because I've never seen this happen. This is where I want to ask you guys some questions. But before we get there, let's continue the video. <laughs> no, you're not going to. So just so you know, oh, oh, the PBT, they're running. Take us too far. Sobriety. Like we're going to go up and down now, okay? Go ahead and stand right here for me. Are you willing to submit to a little portable breath test for us? No? You're not gonna? So, just so you know, with a PBT, the results of the PBT are actually inadmissible in court. What is that? So, basically, if you blow over 0.08 on the PBT, like, the results of just the PBT is inadmissible, okay? But, if you refuse, it could be viewed as an admission of guilt if you rather not i've done this before in the past and i don't want okay. to okay i would no okay i've already done tests and so what i'm not gonna show that whole part because uh, for some reason i think youtube been like watching people get arrested from what i've seen when i make these videos but what we'll show here is the so what ends up happening is she ends up getting arrested so the cop arrests her because she refused the test and the cop says it. Actually, I'll go back and let her say what she said. Let's see if I can get it right before she gets right into the shackles. Whether or not, I've done this before in the past, and I don't want okay. to. I'd rather her say it than me say no. it. Okay. I've already done back. tests, and so what would doing the test do? Um, you're confused anyway, so. Huh? No, I'm saying if I did do would it, you, what your, would place your that hands do? Your back. Stay okay, still. so she doesn't say it, or I can't remember where she says it, but she says that she got arrested on suspicion of DUI. And because she refused to take the test, they say, well, because you refused it, too late. And so the woman ends up arguing and saying, what happens if I take the test? Let's go back. They'll say, what happens if I did take the test? And the cop is going to say, it doesn't matter, you refused. Well, you did. Well, it gives us an idea where, where you're at. And the past 15 minutes. Okay, so you're not going to answer. Got anyone on 495? What was the question? If I did do a breath test, well, you did. what would that do? Well, you did. Well, it gives us an idea where, where you're at. And the past 15 minutes didn't? So what these cops end up saying is like, you know, you could have took the test, but now that you're not taking it, you're going to get arrested. Now it's over. Now we're going to go based off suspicion. We can't say that you did it, but it's based off suspicion. She's trying to argue, well, what if I do do it? I think she's thinking if I do do it, when things have gone better, would I get less of a sentence, stuff like that. And he's saying, well, it's too late now. We asked you, you said no, you're in these cups. So let's get forward here. Where she's at the hospital. No. No. Any surgeries at all? No. Are you having any pain anywhere at all? No. And, I mean, uh, my knee, but that's besides the point. Are you allergic to anything? C core, apparently. C -core? But, actually, no, I took that back because I was here with pneumonia and I'm good. They gave me C core, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. Just, I have to say that. Well, we're just here to clear your medically, so they can do their, their job, okay? Sure. I'll put the cuffs on. Yeah. So you don't have to sit on them. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Thank you. I want y'all to notice something here, okay? If y'all, and we're going to watch more videos like this, 
If y'all remember, and I'm going to show y'all one wild video. I just got to figure out how to show y'all. I want y'all to notice how calm she is, though. Once, she, once everything's finally calmed down, this woman shows so much better um, emotions than I've seen in other videos. Now, I'm not... Sometimes you catch somebody on a bad day, they're freaking out, and we'll watch another video that's as wild, too. But I want to show y'all this video. So when I show y'all other videos, I want y'all to see how calm she's acting and the reaction you get from the police when you do this kind of stuff, right? So like I said, sometimes people have a bad day, they snap. But I just want you to notice how differently it goes because of how calm she's acting. She's not in here fighting. She's not in here screaming. She's not kicking the window. She's not being belligerent. She's not doing any of that. She's controlling herself. And this leads to the very end of the video, which I find so important of how different some of these interactions are right now. Do I think she should? This thing says she was drunk. OK, we don't know that they're going off suspicion. Um, and when I listen to the video, I don't remember her saying she was drinking. So I don't want to push it. But who knows, man, she did pass out in the Wendy's. So I'm not going to give her necessarily the benefit of the doubt. Um, what she was doing was absolutely wrong. Um, but I think they got her for driving under the influence of marijuana. But I'm not um, sure that she would have been drunk. But let's keep it moving. But just notice how she's acting. Look at that. So when you go over the bridge to the river, how far is it? Once I'm over the bridge? Yeah, once you're over the bridge. Because that's a where your arm is. A 10 minute walk? Yes. Well, okay, so you go down to Pine <laughs> Bluff. You go down to Pine Bluff, do you turn or do you go straight? I go straight. Do you go know straight. where Southmore BP is? Yes. I yeah. live right there. Okay, gotcha. Like right you behind should, Artist. I'll ask. I'll ask if I can take you home. I'm pretty sure you won't have a problem with it. You're willing to take her home. Follow me. Well, I got you. Just my love. Your head only towards that wall? Hey Audrey, let me ask you a question. If you had three monocles, how come you chose not to submit any kind of breath, blood, or urine? I don't know what the monocle is, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what they're actually saying right there. Y'all let me know. I made the mistake in the past. You say because just because of the fact that you like were arrested for DUI before. Having that against I mean, me, but here's, it scares me. I, I get that. I get that. But I mean, it, truthfully. I, mean, if, I, don't, if I honestly had, don't know, though. I did have three monocles. Like, I in, didn't in two have hours. more. But I don't know what I mean, you, show you, you, have, you do have small frame, but I mean, that wouldn't. But what would kind of, So she felt like she did have an alcoholic. I don't know alcohol, I guess. I don't drink. But I'm assuming right here she's saying that she had three drinks two hours ago. And there were small drinks. And so she's afraid that she was going to blow on the breathalyzer. Uh, I'm seeing this now the second time around. But she's going to blow into the breathalyzer, and that was going to get her caught. That's what she was afraid of. It's more than likely, she's no longer drunk. Or she wouldn't have blown over. But she was afraid that if she did blow and it was over, she was screwed. To a point I don't know what that was. I don't know. And that's okay. what scared so me. So that's what scared you is you didn't know. Right. And I don't want... Like, I already got this sign, right? Mm -hmm. And then what if I blew and it was over? Or that's what scares me. I mean, the only bad part about and that. Then what's going to happen? Like, I'm already. I just don't know. And I feel like I've made that mistake in the past mm -hmm. where I drank a lot, like, my other DUI over 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Like, I blew a high number. This is, I you, guess you, that's you, what you, scares me. I, I get that. I get that. But I mean, I, mean, you, I drank hard liquor. Like I, I made a bad. You made a bad, bad choice, choice when you were a kid. Yes. I understand that. And but if you truthfully drank three, I did. Milk, I swear to, I swear to my mother, my dead mother's grave, my children. I only had three monocos. That's what I brought over there. That's what I drank. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That is it. And I smoked a little joint with them. Mm -hmm. and ate tacos. And I don't know, like, yes, there's two shots per can in a Monaco. That's what it says on the bottle. Okay, so, so it's a drink. It's a drink. Okay. So I want to talk about how she's talking here. Okay, she's obviously made a mistake. She, maybe she had too much. Maybe she didn't. We don't know because she didn't take the breath either. She may have blown over. And she had, obviously, I can't agree with that, her being drunk. Her drinking and driving. And the fact that she passed out makes me think that she had more than she, she was still a little bit gone. And, you know, when you smoke marijuana, if you smoke a certain strain, it makes you sleepy. So she passed out waiting. That's not a good thing, you know. So none of it looks good. But I want y'all to notice how calm they're being with her because she she's just being honest. Okay. She doesn't know. We don't. Nobody knows at this point what she did. But with other people, sometimes they get in these arguments and sometimes that our pride can get in the way. Right. 
is when we think somebody's accusing us of something they don't know, and then we get belligerent, we get mad, we get angry, start cussing at the cop, we start trying to make the cop feel stupid. I don't think that's the way we should have any kind of humor in interaction. When we talk to people, we got to realize that sometimes people aren't just coming at us to come at us. Where they're going off based off what they know. Some people are rude. Uh, maybe that, like I said, in the beginning, it kind of got set off with the cop saying, I'm going to rip you out of the car. That kind of got her going. But now you see that she's calm. It's just better to go this route, guys. I understand getting your pride stuck in the way. I understand getting stubborn. I understand getting mad. Even I have to do this. Most of the time, I just shut up. Most of the time. Do I have times where I snap? Yes, my snaps are different than probably your snaps. Um, your snaps are probably different than my snaps. Your snap may be just walking out the room. My snap is I will come back at you, but I will not yell. I will not scream. I don't like those things. My snap is more, um, I'll say something like, let's, let's say, for example, we're arguing about carrots, right? If I snap at you because I'm getting tired of what you're saying, I might be like, well, it doesn't even look like you eat carrots. Do you even know what a carrot is? I might say something like that. I may something say something that's belittling. I know you know what a carrot is. But instead of actually <laughs> admitting to that and I'm getting frustrated, I'll be like, do you even know what a carrot is? I'll start questioning your intelligence. That's how I snap. That's bad. Right. Um, it, but some people snap by yelling. Some people snap by really belittling. You know, I try to say something like that, but some people be like, well, that's why you're fat. I don't normally go there. I won't be like, well, that's why you're fat and your parents aren't around. Or that's why you're fat and you don't have, you're not married. I don't normally go that far. Um, I have in the past, I'm sure. But as far as I know now, when I snap, it's more on the subject. I try to keep it relevant. I might not say, I won't say, well, who, why does why it even matter about parents? Why don't you go home and take care of your kids? I wouldn't say something like that. But I definitely would say something like, do you even know what a carrot is? Do you know that carrots are orange? I remember one time I was arguing with a buddy, and I used to do this a lot back in the day. But I would clap. When somebody started getting really mad at me, I'd just be like, hey, man, look at this guy. And if you said something like, I'm fat, or something like, oh, you're weak, or let's say you say something really offensive, be like, oh, you got a small penis. That's what some women like to say. I, I had a buddy of mine say something kind of like that. I think he said he could bench more weight than me. And, you know, us being young men, dick, you know, uh, pissing contest, you know. Big, who got the bigger dick contest? So he said that he could bench more than me. And I started going, hey, look at this. Hey, I, I literally yelled out in the restaurant. I said, hey, everybody, look. Hey, this guy right here, he can bench 405. Does everybody know that? That's how petty I used to get. I used to be like, even if that person's right, I'd be like, why are you bragging about it? You, oh, you want, oh you, want, you want your flowers? You want everybody to know? I'm going to let everybody know. That's something I wouldn't do today. But I'm just saying. You know, you got to be careful. And I think she's handling this much better, which gets a much better reaction out of the cops. Oh, that's another so thing that scares I, I Honest to God, yes. Otherwise, I would have blown. And that's why I was kind of questioning you, like, I the feel of sobriety. Like, then why am I going to the emergency room now? Uh, understand, it from, understand it from our point of view, or from where no, we're coming from. I get it. You're doing your job, and you got to, right? That, that's what it is. But at, at the same time, when we get a complaint that someone is... Sure. Whether or not you were or not, that I don't know. I wasn't there. Sure. Okay, but you were passed out in the, in the drive-through lot. Okay. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of DUIs that get caught that way. You know, um, and and we see that, and we see your daughter in the vehicle. I mean, our hands are tied at that point. You know, and that's why we run you through field sobrieties and all that stuff. I, I I'd like to give you the benefit of the doubt. No, I know. I would. I can't. But the fact that you, you know you refused you you refused everything. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you, you understand. The, you understand. That's what why we're where we're at. You know. Okay. This is wholesome. This is a nice wholesome talk. She obviously screwed up here. Um, but I want to show y'all the ending. Here's where I have a question for you guys that I have not seen before. Let me know if this is possible. But but I don't think they mentioned a dollar amount. But let's start right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what scares me. <laughs> This is, you said. You know, you, I don't want to get locked away and have like. The, well, then you said the, the last one was 10 years ago, correct? I think it was 2011, yes. Or maybe okay. 2012. So, I mean, it's not like. I've seen, dude, I've seen guys get them. Before that, I was I've seen even guys get them twice in the same week. You know? And, 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 yeah, I'm not that person anymore. And I'm not, that's what I'm saying, is you're not that person, okay? <laughs> Shit happens, this sucks, but you're going to be okay. All right? Let's just. Try to take a deep breath. We'll get you to the ATM, all right, so you can bond out and go home. That right there. 
Has that ever? I have never heard of that. Obviously, I've been to jail, okay? Or being a young boy, being stupid. And I know other people have been to jail. I'm sure you do too. Can y'all let me know? And this video is from two years ago, as you can see. Most of the videos are old. Have y'all ever seen somebody be able to go to an ATM and bond out? Every time I've gone, they made me, they, they would not let me pull money out of my own wallet. Somebody had to come and pay it. I've never seen anybody be able to go to an ATM and bond out. Because it's like, what if I ain't got the money? What are you going to sit there and look stupid? I guess they just take you back to jail. But that's what I want to know. And it does show her go to the ATM right here and pull out the money. Is that something normal? Y'all, that's what I really care. I made this video and I wasn't going to make a video on this, but I thought she did a really good job of how she interacted. I think she made a mistake. She was dumb. I don't like the uh, title that they put on here. Um, I would just could probably put like, you know, mom made a mistake. But I just want to say, have you ever seen somebody get bonded out like this? Is that something that's true? Obviously it is. I mean, this is happening right now. But is that something that happens in your state or is that particular reasons? I don't know that much about the law as far as that goes. I've just never seen that before. I've never heard a cop say, yeah, you can bond out and then just let's just take you to the local ATM and we'll get we'll get it done. Because I don't think I've never seen cops be able to accept money from the person they just arrested. Normally, you they're, they're like a little office you have to go through. Like you go to it like from where I'm from, you have to go into the courthouse, go to a certain clerk and pay that clerk. That clerk tells the cops to let you out. I've never been to a place where they pay the money directly to the cop, to the cop, and then they take you home. That's crazy. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. You think she was wrong? You think she was crazy? You think she handled it well? You think she handled it poorly? What would you have done? You think she should have went to jail? You think she should have took the breathalyzer? I don't think. Uh, I think she said she was scared. What does it matter? At the end of the day, she was probably going away anyway. She's going to have to bond out regardless. Um, but maybe she saved herself from blowing over because then she may have been even more screwed. I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Goodbye.